Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burks Photography and Product Shop and today I'm going to show you how to batch edit in Adobe Camera Raw or how to open and edit more than one at a time. So we're going to go to File Open and we're going to find our raw files. Here they are and we're just going to select them all. You can drag or you can hold down Control and select the ones that you want and then just hit OK. And so then they will all pop up and the first thing that you want to do is hit Select All. Um, and that will make sure that whatever adjustments you make are done to all of the photos. So the first thing I want to do is lower the highlights because the flowers on her head are a little bit blown out. So we're just going to bring those back a little bit. Um, and as you can see, it adjusts each of the other ones in turn. And so um, you can continue here with any other adjustments you might want to make. So you want to make a curve adjustment. You could brighten a little. Just maintain those highlights so they don't get blown out again. Um, and you could darken the shadows a little bit. Whatever um, adjustments you like to make. Um, and then it will do it to all three of the photos. If there was something, let's say like one image was a lot darker than the other ones, um, you could just select that image alone and then make an adjustment. Just be sure that you hit select all again before hitting open images. And if you did um, adjust one image at a time and you realized you didn't have them all selected, um, but you'd like to apply those changes to the other photos, just hit select all and then hit synchronize. And then this little window will pop up just letting you know um, you can uncheck these. Like let's say that you only wanted to apply the new white balance you gave it. Um, just you can check only that one. Um, I just leave it at all of them because I want them both all to be exactly the same. So then I just hit OK and it will synchronize them if they aren't already. And then make sure, making sure that all of them are selected, select all is hit, hit open images and then they will um, load into Photoshop. And it takes them a minute because they're kind of big files. And there you go. If that was all you wanted to do, um, you could then save them from here or you can um, do a few more adjustments to your photos, um, whatever your process is in Photoshop, and then save them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.